at Simplot Games 2013. I'm David Mitchell. I'm with Andre Phillips, 88 Olympic gold medalist at 400 hurdles, all around great guy. I'm going to ask you some really difficult probing questions. Here. Okay, go for it. Some personal secrets. <laughs> Actually, we hear you, you've had some good things going on in life. You married recently? You no, I've been married and had a new baby. He's new seven baby. months old. Okay. So What's I'm his a, name? His name is Avery. Avery J. Avery J. Avery J. Right. J. Phillips. Uh, uh, and uh, now principal at your high school. Principal at the high school, and that's going well. Uh, obviously, you know, with the way the budget is going, you know, that's our biggest challenge. But other than that, I'm enjoying what I do, and uh, I take it as I would in sport. Just take it in stride. And here we see you at Supply Games year after year, and you have a big smile on your face. Yes. Always having fun. Tell us about what it's like to be here for you. I love it. For me, it, it's sort of seeing all, all the people again. It's like a mini family reunion. So I, this is my like home away from home, so to speak. And every year I look forward to coming here. I think it's my 12th or 13th year. So, I mean, I get excited every time I come. And I, and I hate to leave. So. Yeah, and everybody's always excited to see you. It's, well, like, it's like that uh, favorite uncle that comes in from out of town. <laughs> I'm glad know? it's the favorite uncle. Yeah, the favorite <laughs> uncle. Not, not the strange one yeah. they don't want at the dinner table. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of some of the athletes that, that you've been seeing, uh, high school age kids? You, you know what, over the years, I mean, we've seen some fantastic athletes, some, some athletes who have even gone on to be world class. I was here in 2001 when Lashinda Demas came as uh, a high school athlete and still holds the 400 meter record, and now she's here as the Olympian, as one of the Olympians, so that's absolutely amazing. And I'm sure Stacy Trujillo came through here and, and many others, so it's just absolutely amazing to see, see them grow and see them prosper and continue on with the sport. And come back. And come back, because this is a, a place to come back to. So you were one of the best combo hurdlers ever, right? Ranked yes. in the top 10 in the world, in the highs and the 400s. In, in, one, in, uh, in one year, I was ranked number one in the 400 hurdles in the world, and number three in the high hurdles. So I don't think that's ever been done. And, and so that's, I'm proud of that little feat. Yes, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. You're in the Hall of Fame, National Track and Field Hall of Fame now. But tell us about how, how did, what were you doing differently that made you able to handle both the demands of being a straightaway hurdler and a 400 hurdler? Well, I, I think it's very difficult. Once you get up to that world class level, it's very hard to do both hurdles because you really have to devote your time to that, to that craft. I think what I did differently was I just decided to train like a 110 meter hurdle and in terms of hurdles and then at the end of the day do my 400 meter hurdle work so I can keep the strength and endurance yet have the speed and the technique for the high. So it, it ended up making me a better hurdler all the way around. You know, and I'm sure others have tried it, but they didn't get it, but you did. So <laughs> congratulations thank on that much. again. It's so good to see you and, you and best of luck with Avery J. Thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. All right, thank you.